Now, I'm a woman over 50. I have a huge collection of clothes I've acquired over the years. And today I am going to do my wardrobe swap over for the spring. At the end of the video, I will also do an outfit roundup of what I have been wearing over the last couple of months. I've just recently bought this sweater. Amazon is available in the States, Canada and the UK. I will link it. Now, this is the beige colour I'm wearing here. They've got massive colours. I had found it very difficult to choose, but I chose two. And there's another two in my basket I want to get. So um, it's like back wing. It's one size, so it fits anyone and everyone. It has sort of a, a stretch around here. And this is balloony. So if you've got a tummy, that's going to hide that as well as being back wing. Now, I pulled to push the sleeves up and it's got this a um you know a boat neck here right we're going to start with outerwear i find that works well because if you've got your outerwear right right colors and shapes then you know exactly what colors to bring into your innerwear wardrobe most useful way to go is going to be as neutrals but i'm starting off with a non-neutral i'm starting off with a raincoat because you know this time of year it can be chilly it can also be very rainy and so my absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous raincoat that I have had for years from Cecil. And you know, it is so popular. You, have, Many of you have bought this from my channel over the last few years. But also, Cecil bring it out year on year. And I can source it locally for you in the States as well. So you've got local um, supply. And I just say, you know, it comes in lots of colours. Mine happens to be teal, but you've got browns and other neutral colours as well, navies, blacks, whatever. Um, so it's lined with a bit, of, little bit of um, faux fur lining, which means that you've kind of got a little bit of warmth that you need in the spring as well as it being waterproof and having a hood. Now I wear that when it's rainy and cold, it's going to be done up. It doesn't really matter what I'm wearing underneath. But as long as I bring lots of browns and caramels and so on into my neutrals, colours into my... Um, capsule or wardrobe this is this is going to work and you have to mention the trench so i have got a really old one from mark suspensers when they did shorts and short and this really fitted me it was a perfect buy for then um, but i've managed to get another one this year that also fits me at my five foot two and this is from goelia and this is more of an elevated one and i wouldn't wear either of these in the rain i would wear my plant hunter coat from sea salt um but this one is wool but it's just so stylish. And this is more everyday. Um, so if you've got your everyday trench, want an elevated trench, I recommend this one. It's got so much detail on it. It's got some metal work up around the back of the collar. Great stylish elevated trench coat. And I hate recording when it's cloudy and sunny and cloudy and sunny and the light goes da 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 And that's just so annoying. Anyway, um, I can't do anything about sunshine. Um... So I've also got, I bought this second hand years ago. It was a, yeah, second hand um, faux leather coat. No, it's real leather, real leather coat. I think I got it for £25 in a, um, a second hand, uh, you know, pre love type shop. Um, it was a great buy, great buy, but it was a, a Marks and Spencer's was brand. Yes, and if in the UK you remember Chibo, bought this one years ago. And you know, these are fashionable at the moment, the leather trenches so uh belt and so on it's, it's a trench coat shape but it happens to be napa leather that was a very very good buy from cheaper so let's move on to then the jackets moving inwards and i have pulled out some neutrals and some colors now starting off with a neutral this is a crop jacket in faux leather and i think it's just such a great play on the leather jacket because we are seeing uh leather around and about on the runway at the moment it's it's popular and um, it speaks to me, so it's my style anyway. And I love the idea that this has come out in a, a cropped, collared uh, jacket. Um, it, it's not cropped as in you're showing your midriff. It's coming to your waist. It's, it's, um, it's a great little jacket. I'll link it down below for you. Uh, my denim jacket, time of year, layer up. A denim jacket and denim also again speaks to me it's a natural material that I really is my style personality but at the same time it was on the wrong way so I'm happy to go with that I've got quite an old faux leather in brown jacket moto jackets also are very popular 
at the moment, and they, again, speak to me. An old H&M relaxed fit blazer. Now, these sort of um, faux ruched up sleeves were popular last year. However, I bought this last time they were popular. So it is a few years old. I'm, I'm still thinking that they're going to be popular this year. Anyway, it looks like I've, I've put them up manually as well, despite the fact they've actually just been sewn up. So uh, that happy with it. It's also good to have relaxed fit blazers in your capsule because you can layer underneath them easily. Another one that I've got that's a neutral colour is this, which is quite awkward because not only is it neutral, but it's also got this green. So what I tend to do is wear a t-shirt that's a similar colour underneath, or it would be a white t-shirt. Um, other than that, it's because of the green, it's a little bit difficult. I picked it up at a boutique, loved it. Crop jacket, I love this blue one that I got from Goelia. Gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. And also, um, I picked up from them this sort of suede, faux suede material. That's a moto style. It's just a smart play on that zip jacket. Again, it's waist length, sort of the modern, modern, modern cropped. Um, the jacket I picked up from QVC last year. That's useful this time of year. It's quite, you know, it's a beige, neutral, relaxed fit. And then a blue moto. So what we've got here is blues, neutrals, and then the black and the brown. That's going to fit nicely with the blouses that are coming up. Right, I have swapped into to the blue version. Right, so let's talk about some knits and uh, woolens for those chilly days. And these generally are currently on trend, but are my style personality, which is why I bought them. Uh, and so we're going to start off with... One that isn't actually, having said that. No, it is. This is the sort of the chunky knit cardigan, but I bought this four, five, five years ago. And uh, it just hasn't deteriorated. It's a nice textured cardigan from Marks and Spencer's, and I find those ones don't bobble. And um, yeah, it just seems to have been good value. Talking of textured, I bought a jumper from them this year. Uh, I just see how I hang it around the hanger, just sort of under the... Put the Put the hook of the hanger um, under the armpit and then we hang the jumper. But let me show you this. It comes in a yellow and I think there's another colour as well. But this is the ivory and it's just, it's beautiful. It's that sort of quite the right weight for spring because, uh, you know, cool, it's going to keep you warm. But it's got these holes in it so it makes it a bit more breathable, that chunky, quite a on-trend sort of design at the moment. So, um yeah, you can see I haven't actually used it out yet. Talking of lasting well from Marks and Spencers. Sorry about the light. The sun's come out now and then it's going to go in and get cloudy and oh, one of those days. Um, it might even rain while I'm recording. You never know. And we had hail yesterday. Anyway, um, I bought some of their super soft jumpers because... Now, look at this, you see. They do different colours every year. And um, I bought one, this is one that I bought 11 years ago in a caramel colour. And there is no bobbling, there is no wear, it's washed well over the years, it's not lost its shape. It looks like new. And I noticed, I have been looking the last few years to see, you know, if they brought out a similar. And I, I didn't really, couldn't have looked very hard because I couldn't see anything. But this year I have. And so they've got again a massive color range and i've bought this green one which is a leaf green color and i've bought the barbie pink so those two new are in my wardrobe and i for the us canada australia and uk i will link them down below and you don't have to get the colors i've chosen you know just scroll along and, and see what colors are available because you know, it's massive and you can just build up your collection because then like I said, mine has lasted, this one's lasted 11 years. So build up your collection with different colours. It's that opportunity to get whatever colour they're bringing out that year. And there goes the sun and the light changing and ugh, it's annoying. A couple of other jumpers I bought from Marks and Spencers, but this was last year. Um, again, a pink one. And this is that polar neck that's very common and popular at the moment and on trend. 
because I think this sort of neckline is flattering. That neckline speaks to me. I know it's on trend, but it speaks to me and I don't think it will date. So um, that, and I've also got it in the blue as well. Hopefully they're still available as well. And then I've also got a shirt that's, uh, or a jumper that is similar in shape. And this is from Lily Silk and it's a brown. It's sort of a, a cool brown, which really works for me. Uh, and it is real wool. So that on cool days is going to look great and, and be, be practical or functional. I've also got one I picked up at a boutique in a denim colour. That's just a sort of a cotton sweater. It's time of year for cotton as well, I think. Cot those cotton sweaters are quite good in the spring. Then we have other sort of quite on-trend items that speak to me, and that is knitted hoodies. Right, I've got I've got one in the sort of the modern black and white stripes. It's a hoodie. This is from uh, Guelia. Night nice and light it's a hundred percent cashmere and then i have another one from lily silk in gray and they're just useful because you just don't know what the weather is in the spring you know and a t-shirt underneath this when the sun comes out take this off when it goes in put this on simple the modern striped cardigan in black and white i've hung a camisole on the hanger with it to remind me that's how i wear it generally uh with a ivory camisole underneath a couple of neutral lightweight cardigans these are both actually Guelia. And so I can link them for you. But yeah, lightweight cardigans are really useful. This one's got a bit of sparkle in it. So if you're going out somewhere evening-y, could be cold. We could even have snow. So some more slight turtleneck, mocha colour, and a light caramelly, light beige, woolen jumper. And again, just hanging them around the hanger like that. I like them hung up in my wardrobe because then I see it. But I don't want, you know, the sleeves and shoulders and the hanger making points. Then we've got a useful little uh, zip-up cardigan, which I got from a boutique. I'm not sure really that you're going to be able to get this. Um, but something, if you find a little zip-up knit of some sort that's lightweight, that's that's useful. It looks nice on its own. I have it done up and just wear it as, as, a, as a, a jumper or a blouse type effect. Um, but also it would be useful for layering as well with camisole or a t-shirt underneath. Now as we move into the warmer weather, some basics, uh, t-shirts would be quite good. So I've just got some white t-shirts, quite a few, Amazon, white, this one's from The Loft actually, and that's Amazon. I do like Amazon's t-shirts. They wash well, they last for years, and they come in sets of two, so they're as cheap as what's names, and I'll link them down below for you. But I've also got... Uh, Another a black one here, and I've got one from Amazon, which is elsewhere, but this is another just a black T-shirt. You know what black T-shirts look like. Get your, your, your T-shirts out there in those neutral colours. Be in a can round net and just wear them. Uh, layering underneath things. Layer them under shirts. Wear, layer them under jackets. And then there's also short sleeve knits, which are quite useful. I've got one that is, got one that's years old from H&M uh, Stripes. This looks great underneath items but also keep my arms cool so it's keeping my tummy warm my arms cool so i'm not overheating and i can take the nine jacket off if it's if it gets hot and then my arms are loosened out to the air so i do like uh these short sleeved knits i've also got short sleeved vest tops as well which i can wear them over blouses but also uh, on their own without as well i've got some in neutral colors which i need to dig out but there's one in, in pink i'm sure you've been picking those up over the last few years as well as they've been current and in the shops and this is one i picked up last year this is great for, for layering or wearing on its own a sort of a knitted t-shirt this was marks and spencers they may have similar this year and then um one that's gorgeous because of this neckline it's a lovely detail for wearing out for a curry or um you know to a pub that kind of thing and you're looking slightly different looks great under jackets as well and then there's one from lily silk that's a short sleeved turtleneck so uh, that's also quite useful because you know it keeps my tummy warm at the same time as keeping my arms cool so i'm not overheating and the turtleneck i roll inwards rather than have it hanging out so tuck when I'm wearing it I tuck the neck in that's the modern way of doing 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 that neckline but that's quite useful as well and while we're just talking about uh knitwear so here there's my hanger with those two um woolen knits the little silk one and the austere one and they're both wool and so I've got this little bag of herbs and spices from clothes doctor I just have it hanging on the hanger 
keeping the moss away from my my woolens. Okay, long sleeved wear, so that's blouses and long sleeve t shirts, casual wear. So we're going to start with the elephant in the room. We are going to start with leopard print. And I say this is the elephant in the room because what I've been seeing on the videos and literature that talks about and blogs and so on that talks about what's on trend and what's not on trend, what is mentioned is leopard print out. And also camo is out. Yet what I'm seeing on Instagram, because I'm following that a lot more now. Um, is that younger people are wearing it and they're wearing it with white jeans and they're wearing um, camo trousers and it doesn't seem to be out of trend there. It just seems to be that anyone who's reflecting personal style and they like leopard print or they like camo are wearing it quite happily and also selling it on their LTK. So it's obviously still available to shop and so on. So I... Having put this blouse away for a few years, decided, well, I really like that blouse. That's very similar to something someone's wearing here. That if I find the image, I'll put it here. <laughs> if not, this won't be here. Um, but anyway, my point is that uh, she was styling it beautifully with a pair of white jeans. I thought, I've got that so similar to that. And I dug around and found it. So this is going to go into my collection. And personal style, I love it. I bought it because I loved it. It's got lapels it's got pockets it's that sort of safari style shape yet leopard print i used it for work that was my work blouse but now i can easily adapt that to casual wear with uh, denim and with white jeans and with black jeans and with and with faux leather pants and with a faux leather skirt now a more on trend shirt that we're seeing at the moment uh, is variegated stripes and i bought this because i loved it i didn't know it was on trend when i bought it um last year but I just love the variegation in it, the different colours, even. Um, so we've got one blue there, we've got another blue up here, we've got another blue here. And I'm seeing now versions of this in other shops and brands. That's in the UK and in the USA. So I'm able to link them for you. And I have been doing some. And I'll, I will for this one as well, so you can shop similar. But it's a relaxed fit. And I just love that variegated nature. It's just something a little bit different when you're wearing a striped shirt and stripes are just so useful another striped one it's years old you might have it i've ordered from saying to too probably 10 years ago if you still got this get it out now because it's actually quite similar to this and if blue stripes are on trend then hey you got this shirt another another shirt that um comes out on repeat is not it's not necessarily an on trend item but it's just a pretty shirt and it's this one from cezanne and they seem to bring it out year after year. And it also comes out in the night, comes in an ivory as well. So um, that one, too, great for this time of year. And then you're plain white or not so plain. You might have something like me that's got, that's either plain or it's got a bit of detail on it. I also picked one up this year in lilac. Uh, I think this comes in a lot of colours. It's Amazon, so I can link it for the US and UK and Canada. And uh, yeah, it's just a relaxed fit linen style um, feel to it, button down from the drop. And then the other shape that I'm going to have in there is a slim fit, that sort of uh, tighter fit that I said a few videos ago is not on trend and that's true, it's not. But one of you replied saying that it's they're wonderful for wearing underneath sweaters and I thought, well, yes, that's true. So um, this one I've decided not to get rid of because it's got detail on the collar and it's... Um, yeah, I love, love the green. It's my style, it's my personality. It's, it has this artichoke, you know, design on it. It's a little bit quirky. I could try this under sweaters and under jackets. Fitted, it would be neater. So uh, that. Then I had some blouses. And if I wanted to go out for dinner, if somebody ever invited me out to dinner, hint, patterns on. So blue, and this one is sort of a burgundy. I have some play ones, that's navy. Another one from Min Velvet is this one I got last year in Barbie Pink. Now, Barbie Pink is still current. Uh, it is less so this year than last year, but I don't think colours grew out of style or out of fashion. So if this pink suits you, then, you know, snap it up now because you can still wear it. Because if a colour suits you, it's not our, not our fashion. It is, you know, it's your fashion. And uh, what else? Oh, another one here from, what's this one from? 
And this one's from a brand called Street One, and it's just a charcoal. And back to personal style, years ago, I bought this in a boutique, and it's sort of that, it's got sheen to it, it's a metallic, it's uh, buttons here. Uh, I loved it. It really spoke to me because of the sheen on it and the button detail, the Henley collar uh, and neckline here, long sleeved. Um, you can roll up the sleeves and they've got that sort of button to, to hold the sleeves up so you can have it long sleeved or three quarter sleeve length. It just spoke to me. It was so much my style. And then I got so wrapped up with having to look up trends for my videos and my blog that I really didn't wear this because uh, I had to work, I had to operate along the lines of what's on trend and what wasn't. Um, now, this is not, not something that is not on trend. It's just a nice blouse. So that is coming back out and you're going to be worn again. More casual, casual blouses. I've got this, which I picked up in the um, post-Christmas sales. And I did, did sort of put it onto my um, LTK and Instagram and so on. So you had the opportunity to also get it. I don't think it's available now. By a brand called Burke, which I've never heard of. It's just, you know, I like the detail on it. There you go. You've got a pattern and you've got a colour again, which is what I said that I'm interested in. Um, and it's a nice cotton material, breathable, natural material. And then we've got another one that's more uh, uh, ivory colour with some big buttons down the front. Um, so there's a couple of those casual options. Another casual option that really speaks to me is this one from S. Deer. I did show it recently uh, wearing it out for a curry and... You know, I love the asymmetrical hemline, but I also love this sort of the, the belt um, buckle, the strap and buckle detail there. It's long sleeved, it's a scoop, it's a um, boat neck. Just gorgeous, gorgeous top. The, another one from Estine that I love is this white one because it's got, you know, it's put over the head, but it's got button detail down here. It's also got the crossover, it's got asymmetrical hem to it, it's a bit of a a wrap style there. There's a lot going on that makes it an interesting white blouse. Then we need some casual wear just for going to the garden centre or going to the shops or, you know, walking the dogs. A couple of striped tops that I got from Balkan in the sale. They still be available. Open up, I'll open up the description box. I'll have some bits and pieces uh, there that you can shop. Very old one from Stitch Fix that I think I'll just wear it. Another house. And another old one I got from Kettlewell Colours in Grey. Dove Grey, I think that colour's called. And uh, it's long sleeved and I'll just wear that around the house. Uh, back to the beige sweater. Now, uh, trousers and I am going to be going for dark wash jeans. So, uh, well, you've got your dark wash jeans. I've just got pulled out a couple of pairs of dark wash jeans. These ones have got that um, faded detail on the front. Now, yeah, I have been hearing that that is not on trend at the moment, but... It's detail that speaks to me. I've got the jeans. I'm not going to throw them out. I'm not going to sell them. I'm going to wear them so they're there. But I've also got an unfaded design, straight, dark wash, Harper, m and jeans as well. It's cargo pants time of year and I have some in traditional green and I have some in black. I'm still loving the side stripe trousers. And I may get myself another pair, but in a lighter colour. So these are black with white stripes. And I'm looking for some in the, the ivory or the beige colour that they uh, did in the, in the autumn. I wish I'd kept them. I tried them. And I thought we weren't coming up to the right weather. So I took them back to M&S and swapped them for the black. And now wish I had kept the cream ones because they've now got a caramel colour in stock, but they haven't got the ivory. I don't seem to produce that. So uh, I'm hoping they will reproduce the ivory one again and I'll get it. So leather trousers. Now they ne so you phone leather trousers don't work in the winter because they're, uh, they don't keep you warm enough and they are too hot for the summer. So transitional seasons, they're great. So a lot of use out of those for the next coming, coming months, I reckon. And also some ivory jeans as we're coming up to that time of year where you, know, the, you want a bit of light um, clothing. Not weight-wise, these are the five, uh, Levi 501s, which are heavyweight, but they're going to keep me warm at the same time as looking light in colour. And I am using light wash jeans for casual looks, and I know that we have been hearing that light wash is not on trend. Do I care? 
No, I think for a, for a spring look, they lighten your look, they have a purpose, and they're going to keep me warm. And they're casual. They look, they, they're going to casualify some smart things I've got in my uh, collection. A couple of whitewash jeans. Now, I've also popped a dress here. Long sleeve dress that's lightweight. Um, it comes to my, it's a midi on me. But, you know, I've been caught out in previous years where this time of year it's got so hot and I've really had to dig around and find a dress. And um, I need to have one. I might have two. As we move into May, I'll, I'll change this collection around and add add some lighter weight stuff in and get some of some other stuff. We'll do that as another video. But for the moment, this is kind of my April, May. It's what I'm intending to be my April to May core pieces that I want to be able to shop my wardrobe from. Let's get on to what I've worn uh, recently. And um, one of the blouses I wore was the SDR one that has got the buckle and a sort of belt detail on it, asymmetrical hem that's in my capsule. I wore that with a slightly relaxed look blazer I've had years from Topshop, uh, black and white sort of herringbone colour um, style. Uh, pushed up the sleeves, rolled up the sleeves a bit, sort of relaxed vibe, um, wore a pendant necklace and some jeans. That was out for a curry. Then I went to an event in London. Thanks to you guys. It was an influencer event. I couldn't do it without you. Um, it was wonderful. It was a gala event at the Natural History Museum and uh, we were really spoiled. It was an event we were told to dress up for the red carpet for, you know, sort of very, very glam and evening dress. Now, I was not going to hire something because I was going to get the train, walking, you know, just ruin it. And I wasn't going to buy something for something that, you know, you don't go to very often. So I thought it's a perfect opportunity to actually dress a little bit flamboyantly. So I wore the dress that I got from Estia in the summer that I said at the time would be great for sort of summer, summer barbecues, summer, summer, summer parties, you know, and so on. Funny enough, I've actually had quite a bit of use out of this dress because I wore it for a sort of dress up event at Halloween time and I wore it to this gala because I thought that it's a perfect opportunity to look look a little bit flamboyant and different. No one's gonna look at me and say, oh look, oh, you know, you're wearing something that's a little bit bit out there there, you know, because you're supposed to be. And both times I wore it with the white cowboy boots. Now again, they were something that you could think, well that's a bit, you know, how much use are you gonna get out of white cowboy boots? But white cowboy boots under jeans, that it doesn't look like white cowboy boots, it's just wild heat, white heel boots. But two, with this dress, it's perfect. So I really do get quite a lot of use out of this combination. Then it was a walk to the pub with the dogs and it was a chilly day, but I wanted, it was sunny, a bit chilly and I wanted sort of spring vibes. So I wore, you know, a, a pink sweater, chunky sweater that I bought last year that um, and I think I bought it from Milk Velvet last year. Um, this a puffer, white puffer coat I've had for quite a long, long time as well, and jeans and some light coloured boots, which I have had so much. These are a few years old. I've had so much use out of them. This time of year, where the where the where ground's still wet and muddy, and but the air, the the light is light, and you're wearing lighter coloured clothes. I think it's sort of ivory boots, chunky ivory boots are really great for that time of of year and those looks you're putting together. Then my style also is to combine classic with casual. So this was some side striped trousers and I wore them with a striped classic, but on trend currently cardigan. Love the two together, camisole. All of this was in my um, capsule I put together for the next couple of months as well. Then I, my life is so interesting. I went to a meeting at the town hall and uh, so this is what I wore and I wanted to take, had to take some papers with me and so on. So that was the my burgundy bag I took, which is like a large tote bag. Um, combining burgundy with pink, which is a, a thing that sometimes we do, you know, it's a, it's a color combination that works, pink and burgundy, uh, jeans, some uh, boots that I could drive in, the sort of slightly chunky heel boot and biker boot, um, the herringbone black and white, black and checked, um, relaxed blazer I've had years from Topshop. Again, it's a pink sweater, but it's a soft, it's a soft crew neck that I've just got from Marks and Spencer's. It, it, 
the pink one, obviously, because you can see it's pink. Then I don't know where I was going. I can't recollect where I was going. I was clearly going out of the house. Um, this is a frill neck blouse, which is going to go into my capsule. It's in my ironing pile. I just guess it. It does need ironing. Right. Don't say this isn't real. You know, <laughs> I'm absolutely real. See, it's a bit creased. I've worn it, you know, so many times the last last months. So I, yeah, I just wanted to do, uh, wash it, make it freshen it up again for the next couple of months or the next week. But I'm just loving this frill neck. It's La Redoux. It is still available. And I will link it down below. But I, I bought this um, two years ago. They also have it in navy as well. Um, so if white's not your colour. But I find it so useful under jackets. But also um, under a sweater as well. Now there I'm wearing it under a sleeveless vest. And then put a leather vest over the leather, leather jacket over the top of that. Loving the combination of beige and blue. And I picked that up from Instagram and saw somebody else with that colour combination. So I just like to do that colour combination. Um, so that with, say, um, these are Harper jeans from Marks and Spencers and my ivory boots. So again, we've almost got the sandwich with the blouse, the white blouse and the light colour boots. But these boots, you really I'm going to be wearing quite a lot. But trouble is, I don't think I could find you any at the moment. Uh, that's not available in the shops. Now, I also wore the frill neck uh, blouse underneath this striped sweater. This sweater is, it's a loose knit, which means that wearing a blouse underneath doesn't make it, you're not bulking out. And I like the idea of the frill neck poking out from the top of the sweater and the the cuffs, the sleeves, so the sleeves and so on. I wore that with jeans and my ivory um, biker boots. This also was an Instagram inspiration and popped over the top my plant hunter coat because I needed to go out and it was chilly and rainy, wet time of the day. Then we had St. Patrick's Day and my local bar was actually uh, doing a St. Patrick's Day event with green drinks and green beer and green cocktails. And I thought, yeah, it'd be nice to go out. Um, and so I did put on green. I wore the green of the soft knits from Mark Suspensers with an old green pleather blazer from there, um, jeans, a green bag that I got from Nordstrom years ago. And, you know, I felt, I rather liked my green look going on here. These jeans are the ones with the faded front. They are John Lewis' own. I love the jeans. They are and or jeans. And I will link them down below. They are still available. Um, and, and as I said earlier, I'm ignoring the fact that people are saying faded fronts are dated. I don't think it's the extreme. I mean, it's not like rips and tears, is it? So, you know, and in my town, I've said before, in my town, you know, fashion's not really a thing it's just people wear what they want to wear what they like and I like these jeans and that's that you know um I wore them with a turtleneck sweater that's in my capsule but a crop jacket that is possibly going to be too warm for April May so it's not in the capsule wardrobe but I certainly wore this jacket in February and March and the color colors go well together so you know pleased with that combination and then I challenged myself and I I was going to go, I took myself out for breakfast, I know, I know, yeah, myself. I like to do that on a Friday sometimes, I'll just take myself out for breakfast. Um, and uh, I'll take the dogs with me. Yeah, so I thought, well, what am I going to wear? And I was going through Instagram, I said to myself, right, the next outfit I see from somebody in the UK that was worn recently, so then it would be suitable for the weather, uh, I am going to replicate. And the first one that came up with was a skirt, midi skirt look, mid axi look, and it was a white mid axi skirt someone was wearing with a striped blouse. And I, well, yes, I've got a mid axi skirt, I've got denim one, I've got blue white, blue striped black blouse. Um, so I put the put the two together, which is I wouldn't normally wear a skirt unless it's summer. I wouldn't put a skirt on to take myself out for breakfast. No, I'd normally be just be jeans and a sweater, you know. Um, so. It really was a challenge to me to do that. And I used some uh, biker boots because of the type of weather it was. And I actually thought that went quite well because that's topic, that's a sandwich again because my jacket, I used a crop jacket that was a uh, black color to go over the top. And um, that created a sandwich with the black boots. So I thought the whole look worked and it's my, it's my style. Now, so I've got a challenge for you 
And that is to rewind a bit my video to where I'm starting my outfits at this point here. Just randomly then stop the video and whatever outfit I am showing, replicate. Replicate it this week. And let me know, come back and let me know in comments which one you replicated and how you got on and whether it was something you'd worn before or whether it was something that was entirely new to you and it was stretching your um, your personal style and giving you an opportunity to try something new out. Now, if you'd like to see what I was wearing last spring, then you will enjoy this video.